Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Kingdom of Pirates on PC using the brand new Blue Stacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. It packs a punch with mega performance upgrades and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Kingdom of Pirates and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Blue Stacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Kingdom of Pirates. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, the first thing to do is to open our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the screen. There is no need to type the URL, because I added the clickable link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. We landed there on the internet side of Usatility, exactly where we have an in-depth explanation on the way to download Kingdom of Pirates on PC. We scroll lower a little bit and mouse click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we get to the side of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will use to get access to the game Kingdom of Pirates on our PC. It is now obvious that we access several pros of running that emulator. Now we are ready to start downloading the Kingdom of Pirates by simply clicking on the button play on blue stacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on that button. And the download takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It's a file we have to execute. What we are going to do now is to run the executable file, ok, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the system. We said yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installation software better. The installer is quite simple. It contains a couple of choices, install, and setup path. I am going to talk about what setup path really does. We only click on it. So we note that we end up with here the path where the emulator is going to be installed. If we plan to change this folder we must click on the browse option, therefore we pick another directory and set up the emulator specifically where we like. I will keep it where it is. Then, I click on back. And I just click install. Now, there it is. The setup begins and it is going to move forward with the download of all these megabytes which are shown on the computer screen. The time you save it on your computer, it could be a bit more or less MB. The data transfer rate could go faster or at a lower speed, subject to your internet and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator servers. Right away they are progressing extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator happens to be started on autopilot. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will advance to the right and when it comes to the end, the emulator can be launched for the first time. In reality the emulator has been started, there for the first time. Before we continue, as you will notice, it has made a couple of software icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon will be one we are concerned with. At any time when we desire to operate Kingdom of Pirates on the laptop or computer, we twice click this particular app icon and consequently launch the emulator. The Bluestacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved Multi Instance Manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we conduct the following step, which is actually a requirement, and that is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is started. Right here we have got to sign in. At this point once we're right here, we are required to do this next step that is mandatory. So we mouse click on, sign in. At this moment it shows, checking info. It could occasionally get blocked in, checking info, and it isn't going to move ahead. If so, you may attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it will very likely be repaired. At this moment we're going to insert our email address and password. The email is required to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. For example you can utilize the same exact email address you use currently in your own YouTube account. Then I will provide my details and I'll come back when I have completed it. That's it, info typed in. Find out Google welcoming us and providing us the twos. We will consent to them by clicking, I agree. Following, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. You might let it check it's going to produce a backup of the data on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play is started automatically and on autopilot. To set up the game, we are required to go to the Android emulator desktop by clicking this app icon indicated green colored. Right now that we are discovering the desktop of this emulator for Android, we observe that we have there the install video game option. We just click on the button. There we have got the game app. How about we press here on the install link that I'm showing now in green. 
and this will commence the software installation. Right now it should install the game, it could take a while or it could also be almost immediate. That all relies on our own internet access. This has as of now completed setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by clicking this particular option that I'm highlighting in green, that allows you to launch Kingdom of Pirates for the first time. We are now on the emulator desktop, and then we're about to click on the new Kingdom of Pirates app icon that has been created. The game app is started for the first time. Currently there we have it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will discuss the volume level of that emulator. It's here. We use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we will not depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we should switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. This is actually the first one, we simply click on this particular icon which I'm showing in green. And the monitor is maximized, offering one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In the event that we would like to run the app in full screen, we select that app icon. And we might at present be experiencing and enjoying the video game in full screen function. To leave the 100% screen mode, push the F11 key. Then we would certainly now play in regular screen setting. At present, I am choosing to demonstrate you the keys mapping that is rather appealing. That way we will certainly be ready to play the game app much more effortlessly. The first task is to mouse click this computer keyboard icon. It's now time to get the appropriate adjustments. I am going to put the default settings, but if you like to improve this, you can easily achieve it without having problem. As you can see, the emulator is entirely in our own language. In certain cases it happens that the emulator is presented in the wrong language, for instance, in Chinese. And then to place it in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. And there inside of various other configurations, we click on the language drop down. We may very well decide on the language we wish, English, Chinese, and so forth. As soon as the language is decided, we should save, the emulator will reboot, as well as the game app, the next time we use it, will also be in the opted for language. At this moment, you can find another information that we need to take into account, and it is that we will get a message from Gmail reporting that a new device has been connected with this Google account. It will certainly question us if we're the individuals who have associated with that electronic device. Of course, we may not get worried, because the emulator is simulating a Google Android device. In order to find which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we return here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, choice. And there we notice that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for that video tutorial. I believe you liked it, specifically that you thought it was useful. If that's the case, bring it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and if you have feedback, requests or ideas, let them in the comment area down below. You can also comment things on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams from time to time, you get it below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Mouse click on any of these training videos which are usually appearing on the listing of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the upcoming online videos. Bye.